Hey guys, working on a 2014, 2015, and even 2017 and 2018 Mitsubishi Mirage, guys. Uh, we're gonna do the rear brake shoes in this video, guys. This thing is going in for a safety check. So I'm gonna show you how to do this so it looks beautiful and it will pass safety. I'll show you how all the little springs go, what to do, what not to do. Let's get into it right away okay step number one uh before we even pull this off right i got the car jack stands i got it in park right so before we even pull this off i got um a wired brush on a drill and i also have a grinder with this is a sanding uh a sanding disc it's like sandpaper on it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the, all the rust off of this because I am reusing uh, the drums here. So I'll show you how to do that right now. And make sure you got eye protection, ear protection, and a dust mask for this process. Okay, that looks a hundred times better. Okay, so now, grab a flat screwdriver, and you wanna get right in between here, and you tap this with a hammer, but you don't wanna put it all the way in, because you'll poke a hole through that. You just wanna tap it, go around, tap it, tap it, until this little cover pops out. See what I mean by, you don't wanna poke a hole through it. See, that's what it looks like. Okay, let's move on. So there is a, nut there see that it's a 30 millimeter okay so now this will just slide off and if it's stuck you could use a puller but if you don't have one throw your wheel back on and then you can grab the wheel and pull it off Okay, we got it off. Everything about it looks good. So now you're gonna get a rag. And there, this is a magnet for the ABS. You're just gonna get it and you're gonna wipe all that off. I'm gonna do it in a way so it doesn't fall into the bearing. Like, I'll hold it sideways. And I'll give this a good wipe. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so there it is. I put tape on that, tape on this. Totally optional guys, but I like when things look nice. So now I got some self etching primer, one tiny little light coat of this. This makes paint like this stick to bare metal. These type of paints don't really stick to bare metal very good. So watch, I'll just do the lightest coat. That's it, I'm gonna give it two minutes. And then we're gonna put uh, like three coats of this on, just silver rust paint. All right, this is pretty straightforward. But I'm gonna do three coats of this. So I'll do that and then I'm gonna let this dry out in the sun for like whatever, an hour, two hours while I'm doing the brakes. Okay, so I'll do three coats on that and then we're moving on. Okay guys, we're gonna start taking this apart. One of the best tools I find for this is vice grips. Needle nose vice grips, so you can get in here. Okay, let me set up uh, the camera and show you. Okay, the trick is to remember how everything goes, obviously, but I will show you when we're putting it back together. See, you get these on tight like this. Now watch this. See, just like that. And then everything I take off, I put it over here like this. So I know exactly what goes where. Okay, now we're gonna take off this little spring here. Okay, so you can grab a little screwdriver, put it under here to get the spring a little bit away from the actual uh, brake shoe. See, like this. Now you can get these in here.
See? Now you can take this off. See, look at that. And on this side, see? It's hooked like that. So same thing, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right there like that. Okay, moving on. Okay, so right here is a self-adjuster. See right there? So what you can do is you can push on this with a screwdriver and just lightly tap it with a hammer like this, watch. And that will bring these closer together and release the, like, the tension or whatever on these springs, on this one especially. See, there you go. Okay, so now this, you gotta kind of push it this way. There you go. See these things here? The shoes, see like these, click on and behind here. So you just gotta like pull them like this and then it comes off. Okay, moving on. Okay, so the next thing you gotta do is, see there's a spring right here. So right up here, look. See, you gotta unhook it right there. So I'm gonna do that. And that will basically let this whole thing come apart. Okay, so now, okay, we got that, we got this. We're gonna put it there. Okay, and I, and I will show you in detail how to put all this back together and what to do with this part. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, um, I'm just gonna leave this on here for now. I'm gonna grab some brake cleaner and I'm gonna clean this really, really good. Like, take a good look at it. I'm gonna clean it absolutely perfect because I am gonna be repainting this, making all of this look really, really nice. So anyways, clean it best you can. That part is up to you but I'm gonna clean it really, really good. Okay, I'll see you guys very, very soon. One of these cans should last you for both sides. Uh, brake cleaner, right? Great product, guys. Okay, so there it is. Nice and clean. I taped up everything I don't want painted including this little ABS sensor here. All I'm using is uh, just Rust-Oleum black paint. Check it out. And I mean, I'm also gonna paint all of this and all the black stuff, right? All of that. And I even got some silver paint, so anything that's rusty like that. I'm also gonna paint that. It's not brake related, so I don't need to show that. But here's the before, check it out. So I'm just gonna do like four light coats. Look at the difference, guys. That looks a hundred times better. Okay, I'm gonna put on a face mask and I'm gonna do everything here, including like this with the silver and all of that. So you guys will see it when I got three coats done. See you guys soon. All right, guys, check it out. Uh, it did start raining, and it is a few hours later. I let the paint dry, so look how nice that all looks now. Looks great. See, I painted all that. Everything looks good. Little bit of paint goes a long way, guys. I painted all the black stuff under here. Looks nice. Okay, we're moving on. Okay, so now, right here, guys, look. So this... See, this goes like this. So right here, look, you have, it's like a little C-clip that needs to get pulled out. You gotta use a little tiny little screwdriver like this. I'll try to get it on video for you guys. 
Okay, look, see the little screwdriver just goes in here. See, that's what that looks like. So now, this old brake shoe, see, look, just comes out like that. So you're gonna get a rag, you're gonna clean this whole thing really nice, just like I am here. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. We're gonna move on. So that goes like right, right here when we put the new uh, shoes on, which I'm gonna show you everything about that next. Okay, so this is totally optional, the next step here. So I got some bearing grease. I live in Canada, everything rusts here from the salt on the road. So all in here, there's like these metal plates that like to rust on this particular car. So yeah, I'm just gonna put some grease in there. I'm gonna put some grease in there. That will stop it from rusting like 100%. See, so I'm gonna put some grease in there. Also, all the areas where there was rust on this backing plate that I painted, see, I'm just gonna go like this, just to keep it from rusting in the future. So that is optional, guys. In Canada, this is the kind of stuff we gotta do to make a vehicle not rust over the winter. Um, if you lived in California, you would not have to do that. But here, you do. So like that, also, they want you to put grease on here and they want you to put grease on here. Okay, moving on. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I also like to take a little bit of grease and put it on these springs. That completely stops them from rusting as well. Just like that, that's all I do. Okay, now we're moving on. Oh yeah, a little bit here too. Okay, now we're moving on. All right, now we're gonna install the new brake shoes. This is the direction they go in. Um, see, with these like rectangle holes going up. And also, you'll notice that on the back here, see there's like a, like a hook or whatever. So that goes in behind here like this, see? pretty straightforward right okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and put that in there well it is a little tight so if you can't get it in you're gonna have to get a little round file and make that hole a tiny bit bigger okay you know what I'm just forcing it and it just went in so it's good didn't need to uh, make it bigger okay now we're gonna grab that little clip And that goes on there. There's like a cut out there. You just slide it on. There, you see that? Perfect. She's in. That is that. There we go. Snapped right in. Okay, moving on. So now, this, see? gonna go in just like this okay okay next here's the old stuff so this part you got to reuse this is an automatic adjuster so you can just take it out like this see and there is a spring underneath on it see what you want to do is you want to put this all the way down like this look Right about there. Pretty much flush here, see? That makes it um, smaller because the shoes are new. As the shoes wear out, every time you push your brakes, see this will push it out, pushing the shoes more apart to make up for them wearing out as time goes by. But since they're brand new, we're gonna put it right at the beginning, just like that. Also, I am gonna take a little bit of that grease and I'm gonna grease up this little spring to keep it from rusting, just like that. You could get some brake cleaner and clean this whole thing, which actually I'm gonna do. See you guys in a minute. Okay, she's nice and clean. So now, see this way. If you're doing the other side, everything's like the reverse of this side. This is the left side, right? So you put the spring forwards. Okay, so now, see this goes in here, see that? Just like this, very, very simple, right? But on this side, see this part goes over top of these two. 
See, it'll go in like this. Makes sense? Okay, so now, this whole thing here, right? So there's the other shoe. So this part, see, this just goes in here like this. Pretty straightforward. But on this side, see how there's like the emergency brake part and this part. So this, see, it goes right there onto both of those. See, like that. Pretty simple, right? Okay, so when you're putting this on, make sure this part hooks in behind here. Okay, let's do this. See, just like that. Okay, so now, um, okay, I gotta grab the, the spring, I guess. Hang on. Okay, so this spring right here is the first one we're gonna put on. That goes right into this hole here. I will show you better after, but it goes into the top hole here, like so. Right, and then that goes there. Okay, we're gonna try this differently. Hang on, I'm gonna take this out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we got the, the spring in here, right? Now we're gonna take this side of the spring and we're gonna put it in that same hole on this side first. See like that. There we go. Now, see we're gonna put this right, it's hard to record this and do this with one hand, but so it's gotta go in here like so with the spring in there. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Spring first. And then that part, like this. There we go. Like that. Okay, now I just gotta get that in behind that hook there. There we go. Okay, moving on to the next spring. Okay, so there it is. That was easy. You guys see what I did here. Okay, next, we got this little bottom spring, right? So this spring goes in underneath. It's gotta come out right here like so, see? And then we're gonna use the vice grips and it's gotta go into that hole there. Pretty straightforward, so I'll do that right now. There we go. She's in there nice. All right, nothing to that. So there's the top again. Seeing that just goes like that, over and right there. Okay, moving on to the next spring. Okay, so same thing with all these springs. I am greasing them all up so they don't rust, right? So this one goes from here to here. See, just like this. Grab it with the vice grips. There we go. Okay, moving on to the next spring. All right, so there it is, just like before. There's the bottom one, and there's this one. Okay, next spring we are putting on is this little spring. Looks like that. And that goes right over here. See, it goes into this, like so. See? And then you have to pull it over this hook here, right on that. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, that is it for springs. See, that's where that goes. So now what you wanna do is see these right here. You just wanna make sure these are centered. See, like they pretty much are, but what you do is you go like this. See, you just center these. They move up and down. So you put them right in the center there. Okay, I am gonna put a tiny bit of grease on this thing and make sure it's clean, so give it a good wipe. I'll put a little bit of grease on it just to keep it from rusting and if I ever go to pull this off, I don't want it to be stuck, right? Okay, 
Okay, so now, see I did get a little bit of grease on the shoes. So I got a rag, got some brake cleaner, and I'm just gonna wipe it off. Okay, so now we're ready to slide the drum on. The only thing is, I did the other side already, so like you're supposed to expand these as much as you can with the drum fitting on and spinning freely. Uh, when I did the other side, that's where it was. Uh, if I did any more than that, I couldn't get the drum on. And all you would do is you would just take a flat screwdriver, right? Like this one, see? And you can go under here, just like that. Put it right under that. And you just twist it a little bit and see that'll come out more. You gotta push with your other finger right here so this whole contraption doesn't come out. I'll show you just for fun. So you can take it out a little bit and try to put your drum on. If you find that it, these are too wide, and you just go like this, you just tap it with your palm in and it slides back into roughly where it is. You know what, that's actually perfect. I'm just gonna leave it where it is. Okay, let's slide on the drum. All right, let's slide her on. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go press the brake a few times. Okay, when you release the brake, it should spin like that, which it does. Okay, let's put that nut on there. Okay, one other thing. So, let's say you can't get it on, no matter what you do, no matter how much you retract this, they're just too far apart. That does happen sometimes with aftermarket uh, shoes. So what then what you would do is see this bottom part here? You would take a pencil, you would mark a little tiny little line, like that much. You get an angle grinder and you just take a little bit of that off. You do that to bolt the shoes and that'll bring them in a little bit more. And then your adjuster, if there's not enough adjustment, to close these enough, that's another way to close them. Uh, just in case you're struggling with that. We were good, but in the past, I had to do that before on other vehicles. Anyways, putting this on and moving on, guys. Okay, you take this nut, you put it on. Um, I have looked online for the torque specs, and I found 129 foot-pounds. Uh, do your own research. I can't guarantee that, but that is what I found when I googled it and when I looked in forums. 129 foot-pounds. So I'm gonna tighten this to 130. Um, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, and if you don't have a torque wrench, just to show you, with no bar on it. It's basically as hard as I could go just on it with a ratchet, right? Like, I can't go anymore. Okay, now you grab your little cover. I like to put the little grease on it for the safety, guys, so he can get it out easy. No issues. All right, guys, guess what? You are done. And how nice does that look? Please throw me a subscription, guys. And I got lots of videos on this car, guys. So thanks for watching. Till next time, everybody. I will subscribe.